everybody, my name is Kate and welcome to my channel. <clears throat> I have quite a few things to bring to you all to today. If you remember my last video, I said um, I've been like in a funk and I've been buying here and there and yeah. Okay, well I have a lot to show you today. I'm going to try to all get this into a 15 minute video. Hopefully try to keep it to 15 minutes. So let's get started. First, I want to show you the bag I've been carrying. You know, new glasses. Okay. I've been carrying the Safiano. I think it's called the Helena or Helena or Helena, something like that. It's the navy. It's navy blue, Safiano. Yes, I really like it, girls. Hmm, receipts. Yes, I love it. Hmm, receipts. I know, I really didn't care much for Safiano bags and. But this is breaking in really well, and I love the pockets. My iPhone 6S Plus just slips right down the pocket. And it's holding up great. I love the way it hangs. Plenty of room. It's so comfortable. And it carries a lot, which I like. Here's what I have in the bag. I got her loaded. Well, not full, all the way up. I don't want to fill it all the way up. But I got a lot of stuff in there. And I'm carrying my um, RFID protected stuff from Lotus. I think it's what it's from. I don't remember. Now look, I pulled it out. I can't get it back in there. And my little wallet. Card case, but I use it as a wallet. It's R RF. ID protected. So here's what I'm carrying. Okay, let's get into everything I've been purchasing. All right, I'm one of those people on YouTube. It, I see something on someone's channel and I really like it, or they mentioned it, and yes, I have to go out and get it. Um, I'm awful, but advertisers must love me. Okay, first thing, I hope you're doing really well, Leanne, and I bought some bone broth so I started using this I gotta see what to mix it in it doesn't really taste that good I tried water I tried other th things but anyway I'm gonna see how this goes hope you're doing well okay I purchased a new Fitbit if you can see it like this there you go there you go it's the Ulta I see Ivana had a new one, and my other one was Roy really getting tore up, so I decided to purchase this. I think it was $129 on QVC. Here's my old one, which is the charge. You can see the rubber started coming away, but that wasn't the only problem. Let me see if you can see that. It wasn't the only problem. It was, wasn't holding a charge, and I had to hit it a lot to get it to work, so I decided it was time for a new one. So now I am sporting the Ulta. Okay. All right, I also like watching um, Piper. And yes, Piper, I bought the hair dye. <laughs> I got it in the purple. I'm a Ravens fan, so I'm gonna put some streaks in it. And one good, great thing about me wearing this scarf, if I screw my hair up, you will never know. So, I got this in the purple for the Ravens, and I'm going to be putting it in. Um, just a couple little streaks here, maybe a little bit over here. It washes out after so many washes, so I'm not worried about it. So I'm gonna be trying that. Thank you for that, Piper, that was great. Um, okay, and don't ask me why, I'm watching QVC, right? I'm watching, and I'm like, take on it, I need that. Black and Decker vacuum. Are you ladies laughing at me? <coughs> Please just laugh with me, not at me. But, um, it's pretty cool. It does all this stuff. It's really strong. All you gotta do is just dump it over here. This little canister opens up and you dump it. Just dump the whole canister out. It's got the, like the crevice tool. You can probably get it back in there. And it has the little brush right here that's attached. It's got a really strong suction. It sits on this base for charging. 
<clears throat> then all you gotta do, if you turn it any angle, just go like this and put her back on the base to charge. She's fully charged and ready to go. I'm also, if I ever get that RV that I want, that would be perfect for my RV. Okay, moving on. All right, <clears throat> I've been watching a lot of RV videos. I think you ladies know, I'm just like right into that. I really would love to have one. Um, hopefully next year, keeping my fingers crossed, getting a used one, um, but hopefully in very good condition. Um, so by watching all these videos, on the RV, you see how they do things, and then you start um, listen to you know the cleaners they use, stuff like this because it's eco-friendly. And I really didn't realize a lot of the stuff that we use, you shouldn't be dumping out on the ground. Um, you know, especially with an RV, if you wash your clothes like outside or something like that, or in a little wash basin, you shouldn't be dumping the water on the ground unless you have eco-friendly detergent. So, without further ado. <laughs> I got eco-friendly window cleaner. Furniture polish. I use it for the house now. I got rid of all my stuff. The hand soap. Smells like almonds, actually. It's, it's nice. Oh, no, this one doesn't smell like almonds, does it? This one smells like, I don't know, lavender. This, sorry, it smells like lavender. This smells like almonds. Ugh dishwashing liquid. Now I really like this, but it, it isn't dawn so much better in cutting the grease. But uh, as long as you put the hot water in the pan and use this and let it soak a little bit, this is this is pretty good. I want to try to just use the eco-friendly because, uh, you know, all the chemicals we put our hands in, the things, you know, we wash our clothes with, we dust our furniture, we clean our glass, whatever, you know all those chemicals can't be good for us. And since I had that cancer thing at the beginning of this year, I think going eco-friendly and getting away from chemicals is probably the way to go. And I also got the all-purpose cleaner. And of course I had to get the laundry detergent. This laundry detergent works really well, really well. And I do have a, um, a psoriasis problem like behind my ears and I'm hoping using this all this eco-friendly stuff and stay within the chemicals, it will help that also. And I also got it for my dishwasher. So, as you can see, I got rid of all my other cleaners. Well, not all. I still got the Lysol basin tub and towel cleaner. I love that for the bathroom. But as you can see, I'm in the right, I'm going in the right direction. Okay, now also watching the RV shows, where am I at? Eight, I'm doing good. Um, I realize we go RVing, you know, uh, you can go a laundromat to wash your clothes, you know, but it's something about RVing that you want to just get back to nature, right? So, this is how I'm going to wash my clothes when I go RVing. I actually have already done it here at the house. And my granddaughter, she came over to spend the night. And she needed her clothes washed. I said, if you're going to wash your clothes, we're going to do it old-fashioned way and she did it actually she liked it she said what a workout so you need a five gallon bucket which actually I have two one for the rinse cycle and you need the washing machine this thing is so cool it looks like a plunger it's actually called the breathing mobile washer you see yeah the breathing mobile washer and it has a suction because this pushes the clothes down and when it sucks back up the water comes out through here like the suds in the air and it's supposed to force the, the soap in and then sucks it out the soap and the dirt something like that I don't really know all the science behind it but you can hear it going <laughs> that's pretty much the sound <laughs> of the mobile washer so I've done my clothes like this a couple loads, you know, back to a washing machine so called laziness, right? And my granddaughter done it and she put it, thought it was pretty fun. It comes like this. You could actually, what I would do when I, um, RVing, I would get, I would use the, um, it's called an old lady woman, isn't it? Um, a broom handle, <laughs> which is a lot longer. So you don't have to be sitting down. You could be doing this, standing up with the broom handle. But it comes when you purchase this, it's only like 
I think it's less than $3. You know I never have the numbers. It's just this, this, and that's how it comes. You just put this into here. You throw that around the room. You put this on top. See the holes there? You put this on top. And you just put screw that in. And here is your mobile breathing washer. So, I actually got all that done in 10 minutes. Okay, so um, I think that's it. If you would like to see uh, more of a review on something, which, well, you, I can't really review this, it's bone broth. Um, I do like this. It's got a great suction. It's a little heavy. I mean, you know, you could work out with it. Dual purposes. <laughs> um, I think it would be great for the RV. And it's good for around the house. Especially like when I'm in a kitchen. Somebody spills something. You know how it gets right down there in the corners and stuff. This would be great. Easy to clean. I, think I, have to, I don't know much about how to open this shit. Wait a minute. I did it one time. You just open that side and you just dump. Which I don't want to dump on my table. And that's it. And on this side it comes off and you can clean the filter. I mean, you can see it on QVC, it shows you everything about this. So the suction on this is great, I gotta say. I love that. Um, and so far, I love my new Fitbit. Now, if you guys like to have a, see a review on anything else, let me know. Like I said, I'm, I'm currently sporting this. The Helena? Helena? I don't know. Something like that. Safiano leather. It's really nice. Yep, I like it, and it's Safiano. Now, it'll probably be my only Safiano bag that I get. Actually, I do have, like, my one over here, which is my shiny It bag. I really like that, too. So, anyway, here she is. That's what I'm carrying now. This is all the stuff I've been accumulating. There's, there's more, and actually there's a package on its way. But I think it's only the little um, safeguards I bought, I purchased for this on, uh, um, Amazon. Oh, well, it sucks getting old, doesn't it? So, I hope you're all doing well, and I'll be back soon with, uh, I haven't, oh, I haven't updated anything of my planner. Actually, I haven't put nothing in my planner. I gotta put planner break. I don't know. I don't know what's, what's up with me. It's like, I just don't feel like doing the planner. I'm like, into the RVing stuff right now. I, I may not even purchase one. I told my husband, you're going to get one? I said, yeah. Oh, maybe not. I changed my mind like that. So, um, anyway, that's Kate. All right. I hope you're all doing well and I'll be back soon. Anything that you want to see a review? I know I need to do all my bags review, but I'm not up for that yet. So, um, if there's a certain bag you want to see, or something that I showed you here. And no, I don't, I don't think I'm going to show you guys when I dye my hair. <laughs> That's, it's just going to be purple like here. Maybe one over here. So don't ask for that one. <laughs> all right. I'll talk to you all later. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now.